So since it's the uh, the outside of the Baba Sali, and say a, a story I heard from a famous rabbi in, in Israel, a famous Kabbalist. His name is uh, Rabbi Benayahu Shmueli, very famous uh, Kabbalist. His uh, Shiva teaches uh, Kabbalah. And so he said the Baba Sali, Rabbi Yisrael Abu Chatzira, he. His grandfather was a very famous uh, tzaddik, Rabbi Yaakov Abu Chatzira. His father was Rabbi Masud Abu Chatzira. As and 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 Rabbi So, so uh, the Rabbi Sali, at the age of seven, he asked his father if he can join the group of uh, of rabbis who were learning Zoya. Age of seven. So his father uh, said, no, you shouldn't do it. You're young, seven years old. But he insisted, insisted, insisted. So the rabbi told him, go. His father said, you can go. So he went there and uh, he told the, 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 I guess, the head of the, the group, uh, the rabbis who were learning, that he was sending his son. And he was so involved and so alive that this rabbi came to, to his father and said thank you so much for bringing him to the class because he brings so much uh, excitement to the class. So a year went by, he's uh, eight years old now, and he completed the, uh, he completed the Zohar. They completed the Zohar. So they did a siyum, they did a siyum, a completion of the Zohar. So uh, his father was so excited that his son was uh, completed the Zohar. So he said, I'm coming to the Sium and the, 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 the meal is on me, right? The, the, the meal is on me. So he came and his son was even more thrilled that he finished the Zohar. So he said they had the lantern in the room with 72 candles, right? That's one of the names of Hashem, Shem Av, 72. They had a lantern with 72 uh, oil candles in the room. It says Rabbi Sali was so thrilled, like in a Hasid Shvabregen, sometimes the rabbis would jump on the table, would stand and dance on the table. So he, he got up, on, he's dancing on the table, he looks at the lantern, he said, I, uh, I command you, you dance with me. And he said he was moving left, and the lantern is moving left, he was moving right, the lantern is moving right. <laughs> I command you, you dance with me. <laughs> no, the sun. The sun. Yeah, that, was, that was power, already eight years old. Wow, wow, wow. He said at the age of 13, he started already fasting from one week to the next. So he would fast on yeah. Sunday, so till Friday night. He did a lot of fasting, yeah. toiling in, in cold water. Baba Sali was an um, unbelievable tzaddik. And now so my, my, uh, my father told me that he once saw him, he came to Kfar Chabad, and he was already very old. He passed away in 1984, I think, so he came to Kfar Chabad. It was very, very uh, close to the Rebbe. Well, the side was very close with the Rebbe. If anybody said, there's once a video gem, I think you, you probably saw it, on Friday, and... Uh, and it's a Shabbos. We watched the gem video. So they, they, they interviewed his uh, son-in-law. There was some uh, a head of a yeshiva somewhere in uh, in Israel. They told him he wants to speak. He went to the son-in-law. He said to arrange a meeting with the Baba Sali. He wants to So he went to the meeting. He brought him, and he was as he was speaking to the Baba Sali. He made comment, insinuating that the Chazonish, the Chatam Sefer, the Vilna Goen, they were insinuating that the Baal Shem Tov was not there and they he created a, like he, he did it in a smart way, but he is speaking to the Baba Sali. So Sali literally threw him out of the room, told him to get out, and then he called his son, his son-in-law, he told him, why did you bring this guy? Any idea we spoke against the Baal Shem Tov? And, uh, and so he, and Rabbi Sali asked, what, what is he doing? What is this guy doing? He said he has a coiler. He said he's not going to have a coiler anymore. He said there was a fire that night. The coil burnt down. And this, the, the son-in-law says he goes by the Rebbe for dollars a year later, uh, uh, some time later. And uh, he 
The Rebbe asked him, what happened? He wanted, the Rebbe wanted to know the story, what happened. So he told the Rebbe, the son-in-law told the Rebbe what, what took place. So the Rebbe said, but, but what exactly did he say? And how did the, he, the Rebbe wanted to know every, every single detail that took place? And, uh, and what exa- what, why did he, what, what, what did he say about the Baal Shem Tov? So he jumped like uh, the, the Baba Sal. If anybody spoke against Hasidim, against the Baal Shem, against the ways of Hasidim, against Hasidus, he would jump like a, like a, a snake. Have them. But uh, so he came to Kfar Chabad one time. He was very old. And uh, my father his whole life grew up in Kfar Chabad. He was there since he was five years old. And he, he saw the Rebbe and he saw him. And in his mind, the Baba Sali was, since he was very old, he Davin in city. So my father in his mind thought, you know, the difference like between the, the Rebbe and the Baba, and the Baba Sali, look, he's sitting down in Shmun Esri, like, he didn't say anything, but he just thought of it. And uh, then we went home. And that night, my father had a dream that he goes to the Baba Sali to ask him for a bocha, and he, and he takes my sister, and he does, she doesn't give him, and the Baba Sali doesn't give him a bocha. So he, he tries again and tries again. He doesn't, give, he doesn't want to give him a bracha in his dream. So uh, my father, the uh, next day, he gets a letter uh, that he has to go to the army, the reserve. He has to go some five weeks. He used to go for 30 years. Every year he would go for uh, five weeks, uh, sometimes to Jenin, uh, hostile areas. They would go. Uh, I remember throughout my childhood, my father was always like five, five weeks out of the year, he would, he would go to the army. So he got this letter, he says, with a dream like this, I'm not going to the, uh, I'm, I'm not going to go to the army. I, I can't go like this, but on the, he has to go. It's, the government calls you, you got to go. So he decided that he's going to, uh, to Netivo, to where the Baba Sali lives, and he's trying to clarify, he's trying to find out what exactly, what should he do and to ask forgiveness, right? So uh, he's, when he gets there, he sees a line, a line of people. He says, ah, I'm never going to be able to... Uh, get so he father started going back and forth, doesn't know what to do with himself. He goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Suddenly somebody comes outside, he tells him, uh, he tells him, uh, you have a car? So my father says, yeah, I have a car. So he said, today, he said, said, the guy says, I'm the Gabbai of the of Baba Sali. He said, today it's Rosh Chodesh. And Baba Sali has a custom to say Shekhyanu on a new food. It's a locha, it's a minag to say Shekhyanu. If you can do it, you go to a store, you find the food that you didn't eat in that season. You didn't eat in that season. And you can say Shekhyanu on the food. He said, the bracha and say Shekhyanu. So he said, can you take me? The Gabbai said to my father, if you can take him to the market, to the shuk, the Arab shuk at the time, and uh, to buy so then no fruit. My father said, sure. Then so they go, and on the way, um, my father asked him, can you, can you get me in to the, uh, the Baba Sal? So he said, sure, I'll, I'll, I'll get you in. And he asked him, why do you want to go? He said, I don't know, I have this dream, he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to give me a bracha. So he, they go in with the Gabbai, the Gabbai brings him inside, and uh, he said, Baba Sal is sitting there, and he, he didn't see, he didn't, he didn't see my father. He just says to him, he, he goes, is it true, he says to him, is it true that you didn't want to bless him? That's all, that's all he said. Is it true you didn't want to bless him? So he said, it, don't worry, it's, 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 it's forgiven. It's forgiven. He, like he knew everything was clear to him. He said, it's forgiven. Don't worry. So he said, I'm giving you a bracha that you'll have twins. So he told my father. And a year later, I was born. And then my brother was born. And my whole life, people ask me, are you twins? Are you twins? Are you twins? <laughs> you look alike. And people always ask me if we are twins. So uh, that was a, a direct uh, thing that happened to my father related this story to me. <laughs> and then he was comfortable going back to the army, doing his thing. <laughs> Whatever was going on, it was something to go Very cool, very cool. You know, yeah. just, so it says this alenu, his marriage should protect us the merit of a tzaddik a tzaddik has a lot of credit and he can use his credit to, 
to uh, give us Yeshua, to give us salvation in anything that uh, particularly we need. Just keep me out of high school. Chaim, <laughs> Chaim.